is going on gaming nerds welcome back to midnight gaming with mystic nightmare thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out hopefully you guys had an amazing weekend and you had an excellent day i had a pretty decent one it is midnight yet again yet again we are back on satisfactory in the last episode we went over an update for the new content which was sulfur and quartz and as you guys saw probably if you watched the last uh the last episode we went ahead and we opened up the explorer node which was the crystal stuff I've already gone ahead off camera and opened up the explosives, which is the sulfur stuff. And we're going to be working on a factory for both of those today. Now, before I do anything else, what I have to actually do is, uh, where was it? I have to, I have to scan something. I know that I have to scan some, oh, Caterium, that's what it is, Caterium. We need to make quick wire. Guess what? I've already made some quick wire, and I've also already opened up the Caterium technology. I figured it wouldn't be that important if I opened it off camera. So I went ahead and I already made some quick wire. Where did it go? Right there. By hand, okay? And if I pull up our map, I've gone ahead and I've already found, I've been doing a lot of work, guys. A lot of work to be, to be able to do this episode. I've gone ahead and I found a Caterium ore node. It's pure very nice and it's not too far from our base on top of that i've also found a sulfur node way the hell over here and a quartz node now what's cool about this quartz node is there's actually two of them and they're pure uh, our sulfur sulfur node uh, node there's actually two of them over here and they're normal and impure okay and then i've also found a sam ore node which is also pure so that's the map that's nice to be able to pull this up and show it to you but it's not actually as far as it seems like it is okay so we're going to be going ahead and we're going to be doing some quartz and sulfur today and i'm going to do it by doing a truck route and i'm going to transfer transport both of these at the exact same time on the same truck so they're going to be mixed so we're going to need to open up a couple of things first off we're going to go ahead and go in here and we're going to open up our quick wire and we're going to go ahead and scan. I think they said 100 of that. We're going to go ahead and scan that. Now, this is going to take 22 minutes. All right. It's going to take a long time. Now, we're opening that so we can open up the smart uh, this, the, the, the smart splitters because we are going to use one single smart splitter today. Now, I told you guys I've been doing a lot of work to get prepared for this. So let me show you this real quick and what I've done. First off, I've been thinking a little bit forward or a little bit ahead, if you will. And I've been thinking about what we have to do as far as automation, we're gonna need a lot of copper wire. When it comes down to supercomputers, when it comes down to regular computers, everything freaking takes wire, it seems like. So what I've done is I've added a third level to our copper ingot area, okay? So our copper wire area over here, I've basically added another entire level. Now what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've, I've overclocked our MK2 miner to 300. Now, the only reason I've done that is because basically it doesn't matter how much your MK2 does, you're pretty much limited to by what your smithies are doing or what your smelters are doing. We have six smelters and all of these smelters are actually overclocked to do 50 at a time. 50 times six is 300. So we've got 300 ingots coming up this line right here, this uh, vertical conveyor going into an extra splitter that I've added on and it splits it into 150 each. Now, if you guys didn't know, they've actually had a recent update that fixed a lot of the bugs that were happening. And they've also updated the look of the splitters. As you can see, they look completely different. They look totally awesome and I love it, okay? So just a heads up on that, but it splits this splitter splits the 300 into two, 150 going up that vertical conveyor and 150 going this way. And basically what it is is we've got five, we've got five constructors that are getting 30 ingots each, okay? So we're missing one on that right side, which would be the sixth, but I decided to take the 25 that would be going in there, split it between these and get 30 in there because that's usually how much they need. Then this one comes up and this is just a carbon copy or a copy and paste of downstairs. So basically we've got 10 constructors doing copper wire and I've just been doing this to prepare us to be doing some of a lot of our end game automations like supercomputers and stuff like that we're going to need a lot of wire on top of that I've gone ahead and made another um 
cable area as you can see and I've thrown a vertical conveyor here and I've gone over and I've gone across our sky bridge I'm now going to be calling this our sky bridge from now on we are going to start utilizing this to go perpendicular to wit to, to all the directions all of our other conveyors are going down below um, so I've gone ahead and gone down there and I've connected our, our copper wire up here to uh, to our coal line that's coming down here. Now you probably notice, oh, there's three. There's three lines over here. Well, let me show you where the third line comes in. Okay, so if you remember a couple episodes ago, we went ahead and did a redesign of our of our iron ingot farm, right? Right, okay. So if you remember correctly, this last constructor wasn't being used, and I said we're gonna keep that just in case. Well, now we're using it. I've shifted all of our materials over to the left, okay? And I've gone ahead and I've opened up this far right constructor right here, which makes iron plates. And I've taken the iron plates up a vertical conveyor and I've brought them over there in that direction, way the hell over there. All right. Now what's over there? Well, that's where it's where our copper and our sulfur is going to be. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go down. I'm gonna wait until the copper or the, the quick wire is done. And then I'm gonna open up our smart splitters hopefully and i think we're going to need for a smart splitter we're going to need ai five seconds ladies and gentlemen oh my gosh that was a long wait for quick wire to get done boom baby okay what do we got what new do we got technologies have been developed based on this new element primarily in power and electronics and can now be accessed in hub tier five hub tier five all right let's go over to hub tier five Hub tier five, uh, circuit board, alternate circuit board. Caterium Electronics, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we need to make the smart spitter, 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 the smart spitter. <laughs> but I gotta go over and get a whole bunch of quick wire because I don't have a thousand freaking quick wire yet. <sighs> so yeah, I'll be right back. Do we have enough of everything? Let's hope so. 50, 50. Uh, 300, 300, uh, let's see, you and you. All right, so that should make it so we can make some AI units, right? Okay, we can make 53. They're actually pretty easy to make. We're only going to need, let's just go ahead and do five. We're not even going to need five. We're probably only going to need what? For smart splitters, we're going to need one. So we need to go ahead and pick up some more engines. What else do we need? We need engines just in case. I don't think we actually might need them, but we need to, 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 to get our stuff back. We're in the inventory. That's what it's called. We'll go ahead and grab some of those. We'll go ahead and grab a little bit of cable. And then we're going to go up and I'm going to show you exactly where I've got our quartz and our sulfur set up, which I think we're going to need like three of those, a whole bunch of those. Hopefully we've got everything. If not, well, we're pretty much screwed. Okay, so let's go ahead and go up. I got our our explorer up here. All right, so on our way over, what I've gone ahead and done is I've gone ahead and we need to be able to do the sulfur and everything else. We need to go ahead and do, by the way, guys, driving this thing around is amazing, but it's laggy as hell. So I've gone ahead and I've taken a little bit of our core of our uh, coal and I've gone ahead and done a splitter junction over here. Now, what this actually does is it splits off enough where we're getting 56 coal per minute off of here. As you can see, we've got our, our copper wire, we've got our iron plates, and we've got our coal coming over here. And this area, this nice big area, you probably can't even see it in the dark. I probably should wait until daytime. But this is our new sulfur quartz area, okay? So I made it a lot bigger than it needs to be initially. It's going to be a lot... We're not going to need really a lot of machines to be able to do this. The quartz is going to be on the bottom. The sulfur is going to be on the top. We're not going to need a lot of machines initially, but when we start doing stuff like nobelisks and stuff like that, then we're going to need a lot more room. So basically with the top, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead. I've got our uh, uh, a splitter up in the air. We're going to go ahead and do a splitter stack. We're going to go ahead and start out. And to do, uh, let's see, what are we going to do? We're going to do... We're gonna two, do two assemblers. One assembler here, so it's about halfway. Is that halfway? I can't tell, is that halfway? I can't see, it's dark. And then one over there. And these are gonna be doing our gunpowder. Now our gunpowder's been changed to black powder, 
okay so we're gonna do that it's gonna do 7.5 per minute now with one coal 7.5 we got plenty of coal coming in with sulfur we'll have 15 per minute that'll be just fine this one also is gonna be doing black powder very simple very easy to do then we come up here and this is a merger I love how the mergers actually have more color to them uh, than the splitters do I really like that a lot so this is a merger and our merger no I got here then are you what are you seriously you're gonna make me do it this way okay so here's our merger let's see if is that one gonna do the same thing is it just because I can't get it connected right there we go and then we're gonna go from here and we're gonna go uh, where is our organization we're gonna do an industrial storage and this is all we're gonna wait is that the wrong direction I think it is industrial storage this way we're gonna go ahead and merge did I have it right the first time oh my gosh what is my problem tonight yep I had it right the first time okay so that's gonna fill with all of our black powder so we can do noblisks okay so we can make those by hand anyway then what we're gonna do up here is we're gonna go ahead and go here and up here and then we're gonna go ahead and put another splitter in not a smart splitter a conveyor splitter is that lined up no that's not lined up I can't see anything in the dark they really uh, some games some games the dark just really doesn't do anything to be completely honest with you okay so let's go ahead and we'll put our coal up there oh crap forgot that I got to do this first okay so now we got our coal coming in and we got to go put our splitter conveyor splitter right there and then what I'll do is down here is where our sulfur is going to be so our sulfur is going to be on the top and it's going to come up here and then it's going to go into here and this one's going to go into there and this one's going to go into there so now that's all of our sulfur is really going to be right off the bat okay so we got our coal coming in and everything else we can go ahead and do our power pole over here now we did open up mk2 power poles however i'm not going to use that i don't uh, mk2 power pole i mean we've got quick what yeah let's do mk2 power pole we'll go ahead and we'll go right out here we'll go let's see one there and then one there simple easy beautiful cover girl okay so down here is where was where our uh, quartz is going to be so we're going to do with our quartz this is actually going to be pretty cool so we're going to start in the center over here actually let's start over here uh we're going to go ahead and start off by putting our assembler down first and we'll go ahead and put it where do i want to put it should we just put it right about there and then we're going to go ahead and put a constructor right next to it and then another constructor on the other side of that now this one actually let's do this we need to put down a manufacturer as well and the manufacturer is going to be doing our oscillators we're going to be doing crystal oscillators with our manufacturer now for our manu our crystal oscillators what we're going to need is we're going to need cables reinforced iron plates and quartz okay so this over here is going to be doing our quartz that's going to go in there this over here is going to be doing uh, our alternate recipe I've done I figured out an alternate recipe for reinforced iron plates and they're called stitched iron plates and they take iron plates and wire now you guys know why I put the iron plates up there or the not the iron plates well the iron plates and uh, the copper wire over there and then this one in the center here I've completely forgot oh it's gonna be cabling where's our cabling Am I there it is right there I was going I think I was going completely blind there for a second okay so this is gonna be our cabling right here and that's it that's all we need for our oscillators pretty cool huh yeah I think it's pretty cool so let's go ahead and grab let's try this another one of these mk2s right here so these have actually seven connections that can go to them. so one for a manufacturer one for our assembler one for that one and one for that one over there okay and now what we can go ahead and do is we can go ahead and take this power pole 
and we'll go ahead and go here. Now, if you want to run down, you can go ahead and take off. Let's see, let's take this one off. Go ahead and take off your, your foundation, run it down, and then go ahead and put your foundations back. That's an easy way to go through the floor just like that. So everything's powered on, everything's ready to go. All right, super excited about this. Okay, so now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we gotta go ahead and come down. Let's see, we're gonna come down here with the iron plates to go into there. I can't afford, seriously? All right, got some more encased industrial beams. Let's try this one more time. You go into there. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take our copper wire. Can we do this? No, does it not? Which way is it supposed to be going? I can't see the things anymore, so this goes out. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. I figured out how I did it. This goes in here. And this is going to split it so we got copper wire going into there. And then over here, we've got copper wire going into there. And this is going to go ahead and make our cabling. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take our crystal. And it's going to be on our bottom here. We're going to go ahead and put it right about there. What do you mean it has an invalid shape? It doesn't have an invalid shape. That was really weird. Is it backwards? I hope it's not backwards. Okay, so whoa, god, the lag, man. Ever since the this explore or this uh, experimental build, man. Okay, so over here, this is where we're gonna put our vehicle loading station or unloading station, if you will. We're gonna go ahead and throw it right about there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our smart splitter. We're going to put that down right here. Now, this is the loading station right here, or unloading, I should say. So we're going to take our smart splitter, and we're going to throw this right here. And what this is going to do is this is going to split everything up. So with the smart splitter, you just put it down, you press E, and then you tell it exactly what is going to go where. So we're going to have our sulfur coming out this side and going to the top. And then on the other side, we're going to have our crystal coming out and going up the bottom, just like that. And that'll split those up for us nice and neat. I just need to be able to get a few of each and put them on here. Okay, so next we need to go over and I'm going to show you the route that we're going to take on our wonderful little uh, truck journey or truck route. Okay, here we go. Our truck is going to start out here. Er, brakes, 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 brakes. Truck is going to start out here. We're going to come off of here. And the truck route is going to go this direction. Go right around here. Now, if you guys didn't know, I tested this a little bit. If you want, if you're away from your base and away from foundations, mobs will still spawn. Oh, see? And for some reason, I thought, this is dumb. Because those are going to get in the way. Because that's why I put that foundation right there is to stop those guys from spawning because that will actually stop our truck from moving so I have to figure out a way to make it so they won't spawn there anymore but right now I've got a foundation and I thought the foundations actually worked to stop them from spawning but I guess not maybe I have to just cover it with foundations so we're gonna go over here we're gonna take a hard right now on the left side over here I found a wonderful um, addition to our base and that is a coal node okay so over here this is where we're gonna go ahead and put our truck our truck station and we'll just go ahead and take our vehicles and go over here with our truck station right about right about there looks good okay so now over here this is where I found a coal node Okay, so with our coal node, I've decided what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this coal node to power all of our sulfur and all of our quartz stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to go into our power and we're going to put down a coal generator right here. So we'll go ahead and stick that bad boy right there. Did I just do it backwards? Yes, I did. I just did it backwards because I do everything backwards today. There we go. Come on. I can't really see the can't see the 
thing. There we go. Okay. Splitter. No, not the smart splitter, but a regular splitter. Splitter's going to come over here. And then it's going to go ahead. Come on, get it in the back. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and go from here. Did I not place that right? Come on, I know I placed that right. Smart splitter. Yeah, see? Oh my gosh, it's supposed to go in there, you idiot. Not... Which direction? On the other side. There we go. Line it up. There we go. You go there. It's so hard to figure out like the directions with these new splitters. They're kind of a little bit wonky. We're going to go over here. So this is going to harvest our coal up. Just like that. And as you can see, I have got a little bit of coal with me. Bada boom, bada bang. That's going to run this. It's going to harvest and it's going to run that. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have coal coming out here. And going down the top. Is it the top? No, it's the bottom. Is it the bottom? I think it's the bottom. I think I had coal coming out the bottom, didn't I? Okay, so we got coal going down that direction. And then up here... We got some coal going up here. Ah, come on, get up there. Just like that. And down here, with this belt on the bottom, we're going to have crystal coming down here, like this, okay? So let me show you where our crystal stuff is, and I'll finish running the belts. So there's our crystal node up there. Now here's the cool thing. Like I said before, we've got two crystal nodes up here, and they're pure, okay? So we've got this one here, which I've already set up on. This is our first one, and there's our second crystal node over there, or quartz node, if you will. So we're going to have to go ahead and stick another power station, coal generator, right here. Okay, and then we're going to have coal coming from the top belt, coming down into here. And then we're going to have crystals coming up here. Oh, others clearance. Not surprised. Crystal coming down here. Whoops. Down here. Coal going up there. So the way I have to run it is basically on the bottom I have to go this direction. Whoops. It's really hard to get it at a distance. And then at the top I've got to go the opposite direction to get some coal going up here. Alright, so I've got the coal coming up. All I need to do is power this thing on. This should start up. Come on, baby. I ran out of industrial beams again. That's what happens when you use a lot of freaking MK4s. There we go. Look at the quartz, baby. Look at the quartz coming down. Oh, I'm so excited. So I've got coal coming up and quartz going down. That one coal node over here is going to be basically taking care of everything when it comes down to its power, when it comes down to harvesting and making sure the MK2s have power and everything else. And the cool thing is, is it's also going to help power or refuel our trucks. So I need to go over. I need to get some, uh, some more encased industrial steel beams so we can do some more some more uh some more belting but as you can see i've already run a little bit of belting up there so i'll be right back okay running back and forth you know it's funny you get i spent two days preparing for this episode okay two days ladies and gentlemen i have even got this wrong and everything just kind of goes to crap when it comes down to actually setting everything up like it's supposed to be set up this sucks man uh i think i need I think I need you right there. Because I need to bring the crystal back down here. Right? Yeah, crystal. You come down here, crystal. Come on, crystal. Don't be such a naughty girl. Okay, so let's see. Go down here. No. Nope. Go down here. Is this going to be long enough? Of course, it's not going to be long enough, because why would it be? It would make things much easier if we could make it actually long enough, right? Right. You're supposed to go down here. Come on. And you're supposed to go here. 
All right, all right. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna connect this here, and then down here we're gonna put a merger. Okay, so we're gonna do logistics, then we're gonna do a merger, conveyor merger, and this is going to be our loading area. So let's go ahead and get this all lined up. Back a little bit. This is gonna be our loading area. Make sure that's, no, because why would it just, you know, be easy to actually put in there? Are you straight? Tell me you're straight. It's still not straight. God, man. I do not like these new these new mergers. I do not like them. They look cool, but it's hard to tell, like, if things are straight or not. Um, yeah, that sucks. I don't like that at all. Okay, so the coal's going to come up here. Now, this is what's going to be cool. We're going to come down here. Now, that coal is going to go all the way across up to our sulfur mine up there. Okay, and as you can see, I've already gone ahead and done the belts on those. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take a splitter right here, a smart splitter. I'm going to put that on here. Not a smart splitter. I didn't want to do a smart splitter. I didn't need to do a smart splitter. Let's just do a splitter. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to put coal into our fuel area right here for... Yeah, see, because the coal, your trucks can actually run off of coal, which is super, super, super cool. In fact, there is our truck. Can't afford because I didn't make any beacons. Awesome. Could have sworn I had everything for it. Okay, so let me show you where our sulfur stuff is all about. Oh, man, this explore this experimental build is runs so smooth and laggy. It sucks, <laughs> to be honest with you. Oh, I forgot to do one thing. You are going to come over here. So our crystal is going to come in here. Our sulfur is going to come in the other side probably right back here and then they're going to be mixed together in the center right here so hopefully it'll be 50 percent sulfur 50 percent crystal all right so we'll go ahead go up here and this is where our sulfur is up here let me go ahead and show you guys this wow awesome lag spikes this is this is great i might actually have to go from ultra resolution down to high resolution guys that kind of sucks doesn't it okay we got to go a little off-roading Ooh, oh Oh, a little over this way, and then over this way, and then come down and jump this thing right here because that's just, just fun right there. Okay, so this is where our sulfur node is, over here. So we've got one that's impure right there. We've got this one that's just normal. So this one's only going to be crafting 120 per minute. So we need to go ahead and go into our power. We're going to do coal over here. Coal over here. Are we all set up and ready to go? I'd like it right by it, please. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And then I think I got some coal coming down. Okay, so we got coal coming down here. And then we got coal coming down into here. And then we've got sulfur that's going to be going up. And this is where our sulfur is going to come up from. We need to go ahead and strap that in there. And once that starts up, whoa. I haven't even seen what the sulfur looks like yet other than in my inventory. So I want to kind of see what the, there we go. Oh, it looks cool. Looks like Mountain Dew globules. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, we're back at the truck station. Let's go ahead and put our sulfur into the other side of this merger. I fixed the merger, by the way. Now, here's what I'm hoping for. When I connect this to the truck station, it actually fills up 50-50, okay? I don't know if this is gonna work, but if it does, it'd be awesome. It looks like it's working, yes, awesome. That actually works. So 50% of it's gonna be full of crystal or quartz. Why do I keep calling it crystal? It's the same thing, crystal quartz, and the other 50% is gonna be sulfur. Okay, so when our truck actually gets filled up, which by the way, I made some beacons as you can tell, it should be 50-50 and because the truck's inventory, I believe is just as big as the truck station, no, as the truck stations, yeah, it looks like it's the same. It should be able to drop off all of that 50-50. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that 100. Go ahead and put it in here. 
Boom. Okay, so we got some fuel. Now this is going to do th three things. It's going to load up or quartz, it's going to load up sulfur, and it's going to load up fuel. Okay? And all of this is basically powered by that one, that one coal node over there. All of this stuff. And I'm super excited about this because this is all of it's kind of a separate entity. I didn't need to bring all of the, you know, power over here. I didn't need to run any um, conveyor belts and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set up our pathing. And then we're going to go ahead and set up our smart splitter on the other side. And we'll be right back. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, our pathing for the truck is done. It is on its way back with its very first money shot load. I'm super excited about this. Uh, I actually tried it once already, but I forgot to put this thing on unload. <laughs> Sometimes I forget a little, a, a few things, okay? Now, hopefully this unloads okay, but the, the truck is really hard to path because it likes to take things at full freaking speed right up to the point where it's supposed to turn. And then it just kind of skids into place and it doesn't turn very well. Okay, so we should be getting both at the same time. Yes, we are. We are getting sulfur and quartz exactly at the same time. And this bad, bad boy should fill up completely. Is it going to fill up completely? It didn't. It only filled up halfway. And this thing already took off. Okay, I may have to adjust that a little bit. All right, so here's our smart splitter. Let's go ahead and go into our smart, <coughs> excuse me, our smart splitter. What I'm going to do is we need our sulfur on our left and our quartz on our right. So, um, center left output is going to be sulfur. Is that all the way down to the bottom? Okay, let's go ahead and just use that. Uh, where's our sulfur? Holy crap, is this stuff really that hard to find? And then on the right side, we're going to need our quartz. Where's the quartz? Uh... Okay, so there's quartz crystal, and then there's raw quartz. So we need raw quartz. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and hook it up. Here we go. Boom, baby. Let's see if it splits off. Oh, and it does. Wait a minute. Why isn't the sulfur splitting off? Is it unloading only one type at a time? Oh, it's okay. So it unloads them one at a time, and then it splits over into the other. Oh, that's kind of cool. I thought it would actually unload both of the f at the same time for some reason. I'm not sure why, but we got a little bit of sulfur coming out, then a little bit of crystal or quartz. God, why do I keep calling it crystal? All right, let's see if everything's working over here. All right, so we got our crystal coming or our, God damn, our quartz coming out, uh, and then we should be able to make. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm probably going to have to up our cabling. I'm going to have to overclock a few things because we're only doing 15 per minute on that. But this is making our crystal oscillators, which is totally awesome. So for our crystal oscillators, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get some organization here. Organization. We're going to go ahead, take an M. Whoa, hello. MK4, put that bad boy out there. Get some oscillators going. Are you done making one? Is it really take this long to make one? Holy crap. Holy crap. That takes forever. And that's a crystal oscillator right there. We got one, ladies and gentlemen. One crystal oscillator. I'm super excited about that. Okay, so our crystal's working. Happy about that. Let's go ahead and look at our sulfur. Looks like everything's working over here. We've got our black powder producing like crazy. Yep. Okay, we got them both merging in here. They actually take quite a while to actually manufacture. That's kind of interesting. Okay, so we got two coming in at the time. We got 24 already. Excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, we are done with our very basic sulfur and crystal factory. Now, the reason I decided not to do... Um, not to do, uh, what are they called? The explosives down here? Or no, no, actually the explosives are up here. The reason I decided not to do the explosives up here is because we're gonna need multiple manufacturers, okay? So we're gonna need probably two total manufacturers and that's to do the Noblisks. And for the Noblisks, we're going to need 
beacons steel pipe and black powder now this is the crazy thing the beacons themselves are going to have to take their own manufacturer as well so we're going to need two manufacturers over here just to do the noblesks alone which is totally crazy i mean that's just it, we're going to fill this entire uh factory section up up completely so it was a lot of work just getting to this point just to get you know the stuff ran over here and everything it took me two days to set up for this and that's why we're going a little bit longer in our video but two days to set this up to get all of the stuff over there for our sulfur and our quartz and to kind of plan everything out so that's why that's why this video is going over a little bit but it, it was a lot of work just setting this up so even though we didn't use hardly any machines just setting all of this up took a long time so just be prepared guys okay in the next episode we're going to be probably doing um uh the the catter cat the, the stuff that makes quick wire i can't even remember what it's called right now my brain is absolutely fried if you like the video hit the like button if you didn't don't hit it just make sure no matter what you do subscribe thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out with me today guys i really appreciate it keep gaming keep doing it in midnight have a blast we'll see you guys in the next episode Ugh. take care have a good one and bye bye